check the mounts, the engine mounts, uh, transmission mounts, just see how they look. Okay. We'll, we'll run through the whole truck. I say let's just write up whatever we see, you know, from it. Today we're going to be showing you uh, the procedure on a valve adjustment for a DD15. Before I start removing anything, I always like to hit the valve cover area with a blow gun. Step on! I hit it with the blow gun just so when I remove the valve cover, there's no debris going inside the engine. we got going on this is the intake uh, camshaft exhaust camshaft intake valves right here cylinder number one two three four five and six now your exhaust cam right here got a uh, exhaust valves and your jake brake rocker right here exhaust one two three four five and six and on these, uh, it's nice, it tells you the adjustment on there. So you can see the what latch we're gonna be using. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, 4.6. So we're gonna be using the 4.6 to adjust the jake brake on these. Got your uh, injector harness right here. Injector number one, two, three, four, five, and six. On these DD15s, timing's on the back side. So you got your uh, gears on the back there's a tool that gets placed right here and you align it you bolt it down align the mark with the tool to the gear lock the crank on the bottom we're on the lower side of the engine D uh, DD15 DD13 same setup all right guys so we're gonna be removing this uh, cover right here on the flywheel housing on the DD15 in order to install our tool to turn over the engine run the overhead put a half inch ratchet on this end and bolt it on we won't be able to rotate our engine before i put this on there i wanted to mention what we're going to be looking for is a divot on this marking right here there's going to be a divot right here and we're going to align it with the corner of this this pointer right here. And that will tell us that we're at TDC, Top Death Center. thousand fuel gauge for the exhaust side uh, this is your exhaust side intake side we're on our second rotation right now so I'm gonna show you guys how tight this valve is right here won't even go in all right uh, now we're on number four so on this rotation, um, we're going to be adjusting exhaust valves number two, four, and six. As you guys saw, two was tight. All right, we're now at number four. And look at this. Too loose, I don't feel a drag on it. Number four as well. Too tight. Number six. 
Again, too loose, no drag. Gonna show you guys uh, intake side now. Intake side now. So, like I mentioned, we're on the second rotation, so we're gonna be adjusting three, five, and six. On the first rotation, we adjusted one, two, and four. Left some marks on there. So we're checking our intake side. Intake uh, lash is 16 thousandths. Look at that. Tight. Let's check on number five. Yeah, too tight. Same with the. Yep, too tight. We won't even go in. This one right here. Yeah. Again, way too tight. Got you guys a better look at it. Feeler gauge is bending on how tight it is. Yep. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and adjust these valves. We finished our, uh, adjusting our valves. Intake. Same with the exhaust. And you can see our jake brakes are marked as well. We already adjusted these. This is a tool we use to adjust the jake brake, 4.6. Like we showed you in this engine, it's a 4.6. So in order to adjust the uh, jake brake, you wanna look at your intake lobe your lobe on the intake uh, cam and it's got to be at the highest uh, maximum lift so that's where we're at right now and there you go Home to the mountain. Near.